Okay, here we go. I have a couple of flights, world flights, I was starting in X-Plane 11, but I'm not going to do them. I was going to do the Grum and Goose, and it was a bitch. Then I was doing a world, starting a world flight in VR with the uh, Baron 58, and that got to be too much of a problem. So we got a new plane that I'm going to do it in, and it's the kind that keeps track of all the damages and stuff. So it's going to make it interesting. So like if you break the plane, it's broke. You got to fix it. And it remembers all that fun stuff. And I just want to fly this plane. It's a realistic plane. It'll make it harder. So there it is. Uh, we are going to load up our home airport. Well, what I'm going to be using as my home airport anyway. Okay, we are going to want to be on the uh, parking ramp. West apron two, west apron one. Where's the north hanger? And I believe it's nighttime where I am, but I want to match real world conditions. I'm not a big fan of it. Boop. Yep. 98713. Is it 713? No, it is 813. It's because daylight savings time hasn't taken effect, uh, canceled out yet. Or has it? God damn, you think daylight savings time would be over? I don't know, but it's, it's an hour off. But we're going to be okay with that. Open joystick figuration. I don't know what this is, what device this is. It keeps popping up, but I always got to do this. Done. And uh, should be able to start the flight. There we are. I do have some custom textures, so it does. It is all pretty. I'm not sure how well well we're parked close to that plane, whatever that is over there. That's a Cessna. And then some crazy jet that's not in the game next to the Cessna. <laughs> But yeah, that is pretty. That's some pretty realistic uh, lighting. And then we got Weeble right here. But what we need to do is... Uh, bump, bump. I believe the range of this aircraft is about 2,000 miles, but let's just guess TBM 900. I know if I type that into Google, it'll give me the... Yeah, 2,000 miles. Okay. Cruising altitude, uh, cruising altitude is what, uh, 20 something? Mm -hmm. ah, we don't need to know that. I believe it's like 20,000 feet, although it'll do 30. Yep, looks like we're not, it looks like we're shit out of luck, uh, peeps. So what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know why they changed that. I don't know why they changed that. We are going to load up Sky Vector instead. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Oh, yeah, this isn't hard to read. Um, there's a runway there. But what I want is Mac... There we are. There's Mackinac. This is a really pretty area right here. There's a run, little runway on the... Uh, Mackinac Island, KMCD. KMCD, there we go. Distance, uh, does it have a distance? Yeah, distance 381 miles. That should do it. Now that we have that information up, destination. Ha ha! Look what we have here. Okay. And uh, we are going to. Uh, God, what's the max cruising speed of this thing? Um, let's say knots. Let's say about 280 knots at. Uh, flight level to zero. Zero, 20,000 feet. 
Shift zero zero. Uh, and what do I have to push? Enter. Uh, okay, fifty-eight nautical miles. Yeah, I that was damn. I did that in my head earlier, and I was right. Okay. We need to plan this. I want to plan this with the VORs, just in case we lose GPS or something, right? So we do is flight plan, file, new, 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 save. Flight plans, new flight plan, calculate radio nav, I believe it is. Is it radio nav or low altitude? Let's try radio nav. There we are, there's our radio nav to KMCD, if we were to so need it. Uh, I've got the frequencies and the information I need right here. So we are going to move that, and I'm going to leave this open on the other monitor so I can track myself. However, we are going to be flying in a straight line. Holy crap. Okay, this is going to be difficult. View, uh, flashlight. Where's my flashlight? I <laughs> go night vision goggles. But... Ooh, there we go. Turn this, let's see if I can just turn this sucker on. This needs to go up. I don't know why I have the sun visors down. Oop. But, you got the Garmin pop up. There we go. A little pre-start power. And I should get a, uh, once this is done, I should have, yep, master caution lights. Aura warning, okay. Okay. We need to go into payload. And, because I don't think we have enough, and I need to remove all these <laughs> before we start this plane. Uh, oop. And close my driver's side door. Payload. Uh, Pause system test. Okay. Ah, that's good. Thank you. Um, is it maintenance hainer? How do we add fuel? That's what I want to. Re that's what I'm trying to remember. Uh, is the airframe manager new? It should. It should be under payload. Payload. Oh, gas fuel caps. Fuel caps. I would guess that would be enough for uh, 300, uh, 380 something miles. Let's um, let's find out. Uh, flight weights and balances. It's about three and a half, three hour flight weight. I wish I didn't break my glasses. Don't know why this does that. Uh, nope. This, you know what? It's just, uh, it says the range is about 2,000 miles, but what we're going to do is we're going to crank all these up in here. Don't. Apply changes. That needs to stop. Oops, wrong button. And we are going to check to see if it, yes it did. Okay, that does work that way. Good. Okay, now we need to, oops, wrong button again. Oh, is it this one? Yep. We need to uh, crank the battery on. This is the most realistic simulator plane I've ever like ever saying okay that's up so we hit this little okay button come on mouse and that'll bring up our there we go our radar and all our information and then uh gener oops generator needs to be up clicked up one uh this boy to do the ignition 
fuel's gotta be on, pump's gotta be on. Make sure this is on one click. And that should be all we need to get the, uh, get the starter going. Need to wait till we're at about 30, oh, is it IG? 20, 30 IG? 13? There we go, low idle. And we wait for it to smooth out. Watch that bottom one, that ITR or whatever. I'm really squint squinting. I should know those by heart, but. <laughs> and if we wanted to, we could put it on high idle right now, but we're not at the moment. Okay, this needs to be on. This needs to be on auto. This needs to be on auto now. Auto. And, uh. Panel. Boop, 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 taxi. And then I can turn my flashlight off. And here we go. <laughs> okay, what are these master warns right here? Bleed off. Okay, we it, it wants the pedo heat on for some reason. I don't know why it's once these uh, these switches on for some reason. Pedo no heat L. I need to get rid of this. And uh, there I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I turned the inertial separator on. Like I said, it's hard for me to see right now. And do I have a, a no? That's the fuses. Do I have a? Uh, Yes, I do. Auto bleed, auto air. Come on, AC on auto. And that should get rid of most our, uh, no, bleed is still on. We are on the ground. Is that it? I'd hate to get up to altitude and um, pressure auto, bleed auto. AC auto, everything should be good. So, okay. Uh, how do I keep the air conditioning turned on while engine shut down below her? Okay, fine. AC off for now. Our destination is KMCD, so we need to get into our... Uh, there's my course knob I couldn't find. We need to get into our autopilot. Which is uh, this? Yeah, I'll, I'll memorize these eventually. Autopilot. We need to uh, flight plan. Still got a uh, a um, entry from. Oh, okay. 
Enter to accept. I am pushing enter, aren't I? Okay, there we go. KMCD. And, uh, let's make this go over here to this map and tell it to not focus on the plane for just a freaking second. And just look at it. Let's see. Oh, never mind. This is a one air run, one runway airport. So. Still, select approach. Shit, we're we're gonna be coming in from the uh, from the west. Uh, let's look on here. Which one's the west runway? Uh, uh, runway eight twenty six is going the other way. So, runway 8, GPS, eh, that'll work. Oh, I'm actually, you know what VDMA stands for, okay, uh, <laughs> this should be enter, vectors, yes please, minimums off, load, we're not going to activate, we're just going to load it. And there we go. Where's the range button? Let's zoom this bitch. Nope. Uh, it's always backwards from where I think it should be. You think that the plus sign would be closer. And it is it is taking us out there. Good. Okay, so now is my parking brake set. They are now. And we Yep. Yes, I know. We are we aren't going to we aren't going to leave it feathered here for much longer. We are going to let this sucker spool up. Yes, I know. I th the parking brakes off. And for some reason, this sucker likes to roll. <laughs> south side of the airport so we'll just take off to the north this thing yeah no, I screwed that up this thing is a bitch to taxi no no don't you be doing that shit go away that's a glitch in my reshade sucker is a little difficult to take off. It's very sensitive, although I got my yaw sensitivity turned down. And you can't just full throttle it. Oh, see I did. There we go. I'd back it off a little bit. You don't want to redline the motor. You're bouncing. <laughs> Stayed on the runway too long. I wasn't. It's my glasses. I can't see the V1. That's the problem. Hopefully the gear goes up. getting somewhere. Yes. Let's 
bring this all the way up to like this is say what did I put in 20,000 yes 20,000 feet I know I look like a doofus but okay let's see what happens wait a minute this is on GPS right yes it is what happens when I hit nav now are we at least going to maintain our altitude Yes, it appears that we are. Okay. Vertical speed. God, this. God, the, the, the click region is so small on this. I'm going to figure this out. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. The fact that I have autopilot hold freaking uh, on and I'm and I'm 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 bringing this up. I suppose in reality you just uh, yeah you'd be able to see everything at once, but that click window is range is so horrid. Oh, okay, the flight director. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted to see right there. Okay, the flight director shows me. Good. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nav. Heading bank. Pro, everything's good there. Our heading is set to where we are at. And there we go. We are on our way. Let's see. Can we even see the plane out here in the dark? Oh, look at that! You can you, you can see inside the cockpit. You can see this. Holy hell! You can see the display and everything. Okay, you just got the regular pulse lights. There we go. Real weather. Uh, real time. What's the ETA here for our? Procedures, just so I know. Uh, We're not using um, ATC because I should be able to uh, crank the throttle up a little bit more, keep our airspeed up since we are climbing. Make sure the ITT, yeah, the NG is what I was talking about, but it doesn't get too hot. And that's not pushing it too horribly. GPS, ah, here we go, distance 338. 022, GPS. Yep. We are stalling because I am climbing too fast. And hopefully that didn't damage the motor. Up. Oh. <laughs> Wait, does that have a stall line on it? Ooh, yeah, I, I screwed that up. That line's not supposed to be that high. I'm still learning to fly this airplane. What I wanted. Was to be accelerating about at that speed. There we go. Let's keep an eye on this. 
I'm gonna switch between the two. Probably do the whole flight from here. <laughs> but that was my home airport we took off from. That is default scenery, believe it or not. Uh, somebody updated it. it. Must somebody that lives here must have one of the fancier planes that, or or somebody that's just a sim a sim nerd like me that knows the airport. You know, one of the two. We have some fancy planes land where I just took off from. There's a like a. Not even a private jet. It's a private jet, but it's like a DC-10 sized private jet out there. There's a huge, beautiful beach craft, twin engine beach craft, that's parked out there every once in a while. I mean, it's just a beautiful plane, green and white. I love, I, yeah, I love that plane. I do wanna, I do want to uh, switch my transponder here as a joke. I want to set my uh, transponder to 7600 because I don't like talking to anybody. <laughs> but, okay, we are coming up. Do we have any alerts? Ah, yes we do. I'm a dumbass. We need to turn the inertial separator, separator off. And then we are going to... Uh, yes we are, we're going to gain torque. Whoops. God, that's sensitive. We are going to gain torque from turning that off, so we need to back it off. We need... Uh, come on, back off. How much more torque are we going to gain? Is it still climbing? Let's back it off some more. <laughs> back it off some more. I'm barely touching the throttle. And I know it is nighttime. <laughs> I'm always really paranoid flying this plane because if you screw anything up, you know. Hopefully our gallons per hour drops down uh, a little bit lower than 67 here once we uh, hit our cruising alt. I didn't check the airways. I probably will. Ah, where are we? That's some crazy lighting. Can't really see anything. There's an airpo airport over there. We are beginning our descent. In the CYYT. God, I hope cloud cover is, isn't too low. This is real time, real world, so it's... At this altitude, it really is cloudy, and this weather, everything's accurate in real life right now where we're at. At six, five, four, three, two, one, now. There we go, and it should automatically. Yes, it is should automatically adjust ah good it's a little wobble wobblier than I'd like Turn banking yaw dampener on, that'll help a little bit. Oh, great. Like, that's not going to make me nauseous. I think that might be the landing light. Oops, wrong button. Landing lights.
Nope, doesn't make a difference. It's raining. It's raining or snowing. I don't know what the ambient temperature is. Oh, that's just wonderful. Oh, see the runway off there in the distance? Glide Globe, runway eight. Oh, we are way too high. The flaps aren't down. I, and we're going too fast to fucking. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to land manually. Uh, let's, oh, you see that? We didn't. Uh, yes, I realize this. We uh, didn't descend fa uh, quick enough. So we're going to go to heading. Heading. And we're going to line it up manually because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it's raining, and I got my landing lights on. And that should be the line right there, that white line. Should be for flaps. Yes, it is. Yes, I'm aware of that. I'm watching it very close. Oh, those are trees. Oh. Oh, that was a horrible landing. I was watching the, uh... Uh, God, what's that called? The little thing. The two things I screwed up on there was I three things. I didn't turn in for the final soon enough, so I had to do a kind of an aggressive uh, to turn in. The second thing I did wrong was I was looking at the heads-up display. I was looking at the uh, attitude indicator in the uh, in the uh on the glass at the runway on the glass it uh instead of out the window which i should not not have been doing under under that type of a landing that's that's the reason i uh floated and bounced horribly and i think i tapped my front wheel oh come on i really need to fix that and the third thing I did wrong was I forgot to tap the button to go into taxi range. Um, I guess we're just going to go. We're going to park this bitch right here next to the Cessna. Yeah, see, look. I got the parking brake on right now, right? It's still moving. There we go. Yes, I know the parking brake's on. We're going to... See that? Do you see that? Do you see that? The parking brake will not hold it. Even if it's sitting still, I have to go through the, uh... The taxiing. I've got to go through flight... Okay, there we go. You see that? We're sitting still. 
there's the parking brake. If I go to bring it up and uh, in into high idle, it, there we go. It will uh, move. It'll jump even with the parking brake on, right? So now, with the parking brake on, we're gonna move it into high idle. I hit the trees. Yep, I hit the I hit the nose wheel, and then I did a three point. I'm God. I'm lucky I didn't hit the prop. Well, that, I'm not proud of that landing. <laughs> Do a low idle cutoff. Oh, okay. I don't have to leave the battery on to shut all that off. I can just leave that on. Okay, that's good to know. And then... Let's... Drop that down. That'll be turned. See, the, the, pl the engine actually has to cool down. And then we'll close the uh, door since we're technically outside the plane. And then we'll close this. There we go. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the plane, because it's dark, when we get to the other side of the world, um, we will, uh, oops, I forgot to shut that light off, but once the uh, engine co actually cools down, and I left it parked with the flaps all the way down, but whatever, okay, <laughs> um, It'll, it'll automatically tie down the propeller and cover the exhaust once it cools down. It keeps track of that. I'm su surprised the... Uh, it's not spinning. Usually it'll spin a little bit. We'll set when engine has cooled off. Yep. But there we go. Not the best landing in, my, uh, in the world. I'm still practicing. But we'll see you on the next one there.